Hi everyone, it's Tony here from Scrap Crazy with Tony, bringing you my Scrap Timber Crazy Makes. So I'm going to start off with a few kids classes that I have done. So these projects are a mind for kids classes that we hosted at My Scrapbooking Obsession. That's here in Yapoon in Queensland. So these ones are specifically more aimed towards kids. I've got a teenage classes, I've got the kids classes, and I've also got some younger ones, so like eights and unders. This first layout was created for the 12 and unders. And it was easily adapted into the teenage class as well, where we added some more sprays and some more colouring techniques and stuff like that. The kids all, were also then able to also choose out their own extra colours for matting, you know, pattern papers for matting and stuff like that. Just giving the teenagers, even though they're doing the very similar layout, we adapt it to make it more teenage friendly and a bit more challenging for them. I then put together some cards for a primary age class so these are like your 12 and unders class they get to have fun with a shaker with some stamps of course embossing dry embossing there die cutting and they get to make a few different cards the classes only last for about an hour hour and a half we seem to lose the kids interest and stuff like that if it goes too far over that time this was a teenage class. This was the card class for the teenagers. So basically it's just a, a flip album. And they all loved that. We get to make some extra little tabs and pullouts there with scraps. It was a really fun paper collection to design with. Of course we'd get to die cut. We get to add the stamps, lots and lots of cutting in this, some very basic embellishments, but it's just teaching them those different element tricks and techniques. Again, shakers, because kids love shakers no matter how old they are. And just for reference, this is actually a quick little one that my 11-year-old put together. He did attend the class as well. And again, he got to choose, because they're teenagers, they get to choose their own matting colours. And, of course, if you don't do it exactly like mine, that is completely fine. They choose which side of the pattern paper they want to use. And then next is an additional card. So if we run out of time... Oh, sorry, if we've had extra time to make a card, we just make another simple so that one sort of stands up like that. Very, very simple card to make. It's just a quick filler that if we still have 15 or 20 minutes left in the class, they can quickly whip that up. Now I go to my younger kids. Now these are classes specifically for your younger of the primary schools. So I'm looking at maybe the eights and under. These ones would be more aligned for the six six-year-olds and I actually had a four-year-old attend this class so I had an eight a six and a four and he probably loved this one best to be honest so these are both boys and girls styles and can be easily adapted with colors and the inks different stamps so we had fairy stamps we had trucks we had cars motorbikes all that sort of stuff to make sure that it was easily adapted for each child and, of course, a shaker because the kids all love that. They, again, got to use sprays. They got to use the die-cutting machine, the acetate. This one was actually one of the quickest cards to make, believe it or not. It, once we sprayed it and let it dry, the die-cut put the acetate on and the sprinkles. I think it only took us about 10, 15 minutes to do all three of the kids. And then, of course, they loved the smushing technique there. And these ones actually turned out probably the most unique out of all the cards that we made as each child. So we had an eight-year-old boy, six-year-old girl, and a four-year-old boy. And they all used different stamps and they all used different colours. So that was actually really cool to, to watch. 
nice fun little easel card. Again, another really quick one because I had already pre-cut the panels. The kids just had to cut out the circles. And this was a hit for all of the kids. They loved being able to draw their own emojis. So even though so this is probably the quickest and most basic card out of the lot, being able to use their hands to punch out those circles and then to draw on. So they even got to draw on their own lines and shapes and stuff like that on the outside. They loved that and had loads of fun with that. Okay, next is I had a request in one of my card groups on Facebook. They were asking for, considering how tough the teachers have been going through, a really lovely lady got on and asked for help to make some thank you cards for teachers. So, of course, I jumped at the opportunity. And, you know, why wouldn't I? It was so fun to make these. I did them in one afternoon. I had dinner and I think I went to bed probably about, I don't know, 10 or 11 o'clock. So it wasn't hard to do. There we go. They weren't hard to do. They weren't hard to make. I did them in lots of fours. And they're just fairly plain and basic. But you know what? They get the job done. They're all different. And hopefully the teachers that they're going to will appreciate them. We've got... So these, I love this. I just thought, and now what a cool stamp is that to a great teacher. How lovely is that stamp? And these are, these papers are from Minte. They are the childhood collection. It was loads of fun playing with them. And then I played with some stamps, really basic sort of thing. It was just a, a crayon stamp and I just inked it with different colours to make that effect and again that really cool great teacher stamp so hopefully the teachers in New South Wales and Victoria and all that will really enjoy some of them I know that quite a few people did um, did actually say yes to that call that call out so hopefully they will have loads and loads of cards as appreciation or to show the appreciation next are swap cards so the next lot of cards I'm going to show you are all swap cards that I've done for a group. And they all have very specific um, criteria. So these three in particular were actually like a mixed media sort of effect. That was fun. That was Stamperia collection. I think it was the Lady Vagabond that I used for that one. I had to use some metal, so wood, sorry, and metallics like bronzes and coppers, silvers, that sort of stuff. And I really love that white spray. It just really lifts everything off. And some cute, cute foil paper there as well. I was really proud of making these cards. I think they're probably one of my most favourite cards I've ever made. So it's going to be really hard to send these off. I can tell you that right now. Next is a tiered card, a multi-tiered card. Again, for another swap, really loads of fun. I've actually already received the one that, you know, from my partner for this. I think, thankfully, my partner was very generous and allowed me just to keep hold of this one for another week or so, just to make this video very quickly. So thank you very much to Gail for let me, to Gail for, um, letting me hold on to that and being late with that swap. I do apologise for being late for it, but thank you for letting me hold on to it. These are minimum cards. They had to have some green, some vellum or parchment, and they had to be minimal. So these are... Oh, and with a stamp, sorry. That's, that's my minimal card. Which way do these cards go? Oh, they just go upright, actually. I was thinking, do they go sideways? No, they don't. Okay, there's... Now, these were triangle cards, so we had to have that triangle design. Very pretty girly sort of card. 
I think we had to add the ribbon as well and we had to make it a happy birthday card. This one is just a very special little extra I'm throwing in for the host of our swap group. She works very hard, not only in her own, in her day-to-day -day life, her family life as well, and then again in the swap groups, can, you know, overseeing us all. And it is very, very much appreciated. So thank you very much to Sally, who runs all of that for us. And that's just a special little card for her. Then we go into a male-themed card so not all of these have to be made by three but these are the group ones the group swaps need to be made in threes so i made this as so that's a little belly band pull up as you can see it actually locks in this is a lock-in card gatefold lock-in very simple and basic i suppose when you really look at it but it was really fun to make so they actually lock in to close the card as you can see just there another male card this is just for a one-on-one -on -one swap i believe again i did do a lock-in card there as well with the same inside these birthday cards are for a younger girl style they wanted it to be glitter and lots of fun really wanted some bright colors die cuts some bling i really wanted to make those fun for any little girl to receive and then we go into a present card i know i know how cool is that so it's supposed to basically look like a stack of gifts okay i did add a fun little extra element up the top here it can be taken off you know if the person who receives it doesn't like it just take it off it's an extra little card in there and it's basically just supposed to sort of encourage any little hidden secret or if you wanted to stash a gift card in there or some money you can fold it up and put it in there how awesome is that background paper underneath that window so that is from craft consortium they are just one of my favorite things to play with lately that's them how cool are they And of course, they come in a variety of different colours and themes. And I've got pretty much most of them. This one is a cupcake card. Very simple. Because it's so simple, I actually added two. And I've also added in some extra things for my swap partner. Because I feel a bit funny adding, like giving such a very, very simple card. So I've added in some extras as well for my swap partner. Then we go to... I can't remember what this one is. I think that's the fold. What's this one? Oh, a tri-fold shutter. There we go. Using the uniquely creative wise and free collection. How cute's that? Love it. There we go. This one was a sketch, so we had to base it off a sketch. No other real theme or criteria for that. Again, it's just a one-on-one -on -one and it was just a really cute sketch. And I thought, you know what? I haven't had a chance to join in the sketch swap in such a long time. I'm absolutely stoked that I finally got a chance to sit down and make that. And then lastly, our Christmas cards. Very simple, very basic, but effective and super cute with that acetate window. Now that I actually used, if I can find it, probably won't be able to, here it is. I actually used a Studio Light, my favourite crafting book for that. So they are really cute. They come out again in different styles, themes, colours. And I just saw this at the shop the other day and I loved it and thought I'd just give it a go and have a bit of fun. So there we go. That's my swap creations, class creations and, you know, racks.
my little giveaways so thank you very much for joining me this was a fun project to or projects to make over scrap timber i'm hoping that you know as we go along if i get back into making more cards swaps and layouts a little bit more often and more frequently i'll be able to update these sorts of videos for you on both the youtube and the facebook but thank you very much for now and i'll see you next time happy scrapping